How long has it been since you found Come someone on, brought him in? Get to work. The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here, hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Work. Okay, okay. Alcott. Okay. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. You ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got, because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. All right, I see how it is. No 
I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. Get back to work already. Don't make me tell you again. Hey, back to work. Hey, no, 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 don't. I'm getting to work. God damn it. Stop. Don't. Can I help you? Hey, Tuck. So, am I on your trust list or no? How's it going? Hey, what's up? Right. What are you looking for? Find me if you need anything else. I'll let Tucker know you stopped by. How's it going? Hey. Hey, how's it going? <sighs> Bike's a real guzzler. See ya. You here for your bike? Uh, just having a look. Hey, man. Hey, hold on. Deke, you there? Boozer, the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Loser, I, I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same. Then what are the two ones for? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. Fucking up. Listen, loser. Get some rest. I gotta go. Deke and out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Back during the American Revolution, we're fighting for our freedoms. We gave the beautiful right to keep and bear arms. The right we use to protect ourselves, our families, our property. Until the ever-growing federal government got scared of the people they swore to protect. Over the years, they stripped us of every gun right they could. Using a few mass shots as an excuse to curtail the God-given rights of us, American citizens. Gun control. And there, in the Second Amendment, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ask you this. All this shit went down. If every American was packing heat, do you think we'd be in the 
this mess? This is how the Feds wanted it. Disarming the public was just the first step toward getting rid of us all. So who did those gun laws ah, really that's protect? Right. I gotta finish sure breaking out this infestation. So. The American taxpayers. Someday, we have a ticket. I bet those who survived, yes, those who come back guns. later, burn this out is these nests. For Radio Free Oregon, don't believe the lies. Okay, Cope, this time you got me. I'll take all the guns I can get my hands on. Ain't no one taking them away from me. Tucker to Deacon St. John. We got a job for you. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to Alki the other day. Some of the other men. I know you've been doing runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Deacon St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Loser Sweet Face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Loser's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch, Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. <laughs> Should be it. Hey, go by this man I'm tracking down. Good kill. Why do you care? It's just another bounty job, isn't it? Now, look, I don't care. I just want to know. Who, Cope? One of them was a man named Randall. He's been with the camp almost a year. I didn't know the other two. You want me to ask? No, I guess not. You find that son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out.
This is it. Scrap. Way. Back on track. There he is. Silver helmet, red gas tank. That's him. Oh shit! The hell! So you thought you'd ride into Copeland's camp, shoot the place up? That about right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out like you just go shopping. Then I'm gonna wait each. Myself, if you want to know the truth, give Drifters a bad name. And what if you'd shot Manny? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You want to cope with Stonies? You little bitch! That's what you are! You little bitch! Nope, it's done. Uh, I got him. Uh, you tell Mark down these coordinates and send your man out here. Uh, you hear me? Is he alive? Hey, hey, Drifter. Drifter. Drift, drift. Yeah, he's alive. But I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay.